Hey, have you had this problem when working with scroll anchors on your site? You hit a button or a link and you bump directly into the headline or the sections. You can't really control where you want your users to scroll to. That happens when you work with a fixed header. That's annoying, but there's a solution. It's easy to understand and to use, and I show you how to make use of it. Scroll margin top. What is that? That is a CSS property that not everybody knows. But it will make you happy because it's exactly what you need and in a second you'll know how to use it. So but before we do this let's check what's going on here under the hood so you really always know what you're doing. We're working with a sticky header. Here you can see the header template and in the conditions I turn it on. If I turn it off and I save it and go back reload it and then hit the button, you can see we scroll directly to the headline. There's nothing laying above it. If I turn it on again, if I make it stick again, save it, and then reload it, hit the button, then you can see the header lies over it and covers it. And now coming to the solution. Okay, the first thing is you should measure the height of the sticky header. For this, I just use a ruler from the Chrome Web Store and measure around 70 pixels. Then we go into the builder and to the section we want to scroll to with this button. We go to the CSS. You can see that I already um, inputted the CSS property and now I add 70 and I hit save. Check it on the front end and then I hit the button and now we're exactly on top of this headline where we want to go to but let's add a little bit more so that it looks more convenient and I reload and now it's really fine. You can experiment with the value of it until it's um, the way you want it. But wait, how is it on mobile? Therefore, we activate the Chrome DevTools and I've chosen an iPhone for this, but you can also work with another phone and we hit the button and then we see it can happen that the value that you use for a desktop is too big for mobile. So what do we do now? We work with a breakpoint. For instance, now instead of 100 pixels, we work on a breakpoint of 500 pixels with 60. Save it. Check it. And that looks maybe better. So also this issue is solved. By the way, you'll find the code that I use in the description below. And now I want to come back to the point where to put the code. Is it really useful to put it in the section? You might use your sticky header all across your site. So you could, of course, insert this code everywhere on the pages where you use the scroll anchors. But there is a better way. I work with a reliable and not very expensive plugin from SilkyPress. It's called Custom CSS and JS Pro, but I assume it even works in the free version. Here you can put in CSS codes and as you can see, I have put in scroll margin top 160 and 60, or no, I'm sorry, 100 for uh, the desktop and 60 for the mobile version. And be aware that instead or in contrary to the bricks builder you must replace the uh, percent root percent with body and also don't forget to insert the star because you want to target um, every element inside the body otherwise or without the star it won't work so let's comment out or kill this here save it again and if we Check it now, it shouldn't work. You see it is covered by the header and when we now turn on this CSS code, you can see I applied in all pages, I have updated it and in the overview of the CMS, CSS or the custom codes, you can see I have to activate it. Here are some other codes, ignore them. And now it's activated and if I now refresh the page, hit the button, it works fine. Let's go back, deactivate it, refresh the page, doesn't work works again. 
All right, that was that, amigos. But one last thing. Fucking remember that it's scroll margin top, not scroll padding top. Why do I tell you this? Because I got it mixed up and I got it drove me crazy because I didn't work. So take a note, it's scroll margin top. Oh no, there's one more last thing. You should save this little piece of code somewhere, somewhere where you can easily find it. And when you start the next site, you can easily copy this in even with some other little code snippets. You will thank you for this idea and me. And now you should go and start trying this out and code your ass off.